So good morning, a quick tech edu tips video for today. I want to talk about multi account containers. I think I've talked about it before, but I wanted to go over it again. This is available in Firefox. It's an add on you'll have to add in. Um, I've got it installed it's multi account containers just go to, to plugins so Google it, put it in. Uh, this link will give you all the information you need. So the idea is, when you go to add a new tab, I can just add a new tab or I can hold and add one of a special list of tabs. So basically each one of these is its own container, like its own browser, and there's no leaks between them. So anything I see in this container isn't seen by the other containers and so on. So that's really cool. Uh, and you'll wanna go and manage your containers and set them up and I've given them different colors and we'll, we'll see that here in a second. Um, and then the other thing you can do as well is if you happen to say open up like let's say Reddit. If I open up Reddit, we'll notice I'm not logged in, but I'm actually logged into Reddit. Um, and so I could reopen with a right click on this tab. I could open this in my socials. I think that's where I have Reddit set up actually. So if I open this in socials, it's going to show my Reddit. There it is. And I'm logged in. This is me. I'm logged in. So, and you'll notice there's a pink bar on top of here as well. So, um, that's basically the idea with containers. Now, another thing you can do, I'll just go and show you this. Is uh, let's let's go back to How To Geek. There's a website. It opens up. If I don't specify a container, it's in no container. So what I could do, of course, is I could say, well, let's open this in my um, socials container. Notice there's a pink tab up there, a pink marker. I could open this in, say, the, um, let's open it in a personal container. It's a black bar and that's controlled again. You can go into manage containers and you can control this. So for personal, I've made it the fingerprint and I made it black. Okay, and so that's what controls with the bars on top there. Now, if I always wanted to open this up, say, in um, socials, or maybe I'll just create a new article container. Let's make one called news. So let's call it news. Let's make it, I don't know, um, this color. And uh, yeah, let's uh, use the airplane. So I haven't used that. Oh, I already used it. I used it for Google. Let's make it a present. All right, so let's open How To Geek in news because it's a news site. Okay, that makes sense. Now, if if I open up How To Geek here, How To Geek, how, how to geek .com. If I open this, this isn't in the same container. If I just open and open something, I'm in a default container. Now what I might want to do is let's always open this site inside the news container. And now it's always in news. So if, let's close this, open a new tab, not a specific container, open how to geek. Notice that it's saying, are you sure you always want to open this up in a news container? Yeah, I do. Let's open it in the news container. Let's remember this. So now, Anytime I go to that site, whether it's directly or through a link or anything else, I'm going to end up at How To Geek in my news container. So that's the idea But containers. Play around with it. It's a good way to isolate different sites into different places. Um, I've got different containers for all my Google stuff and then my work stuff separated from Facebook and all of the Facebook things are in their own containers so they don't leak out to other stuff. Um, socials as well. The other socials are in their own container. Um, you could have lots. Um, it's just a matter of how many you think is a good idea to have in separate things for privacy, but also just to separate my, my personal Google from my Google logins for work. I don't get messed up with which one is which. Okay, so that's the idea with multi uh, account containers in Firefox.